Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to skip a Halloween tutorial because I feel like I haven't sat down and talked to you guys in a minute. And ever since I cut my hair, there's been tons of requests on how to clip in your extensions with shorter hair. So that's what I'm going to show you guys today. It's not that I like short hair or long hair more. I like all kinds of hair so um, I like having the option to wear my hair short one day and then wear it long the next day so this is my natural hair with no extensions in it Avi I'm going to link a how I curl my hair tutorial in the bottom bar for you guys because it's pretty basic and all my curling hair videos are kind of the same because it's pretty easy to curl your hair especially if you're using a curling wand I achieved this hair by using my Bellamy 6-in-1 and this is the 18 millimeter wand and I already burned myself with it. Yay! <laughs> that video will be linked in the bottom bar in case you guys want to check that out. So I go about clipping in my hair extensions a little differently now that my hair is shorter. Before I used to like to clip all my hair in and then curl it all together but now that it's short I like to curl all my short hair and then curl my extensions separately which I did last night. So these are the extensions that I'm going to be using today. These are are the Bellamy Bylage. These are the 220 gram 22 inch and this is number 8 slash 60. So these are kind of a high contrast ombre but these are like one of the best ombre extensions I've ever owned. You can tell that it's ombre extensions. Some ombre extensions you can't you can't really tell. I like to curl them beforehand just so they have time to cool and set and I like to curl my hair separately just to make sure I curl all the pieces. Um, I have been running my fingers through it and f messing with it so some of the curls have fallen but after I clip everything in I do like to go back in and recurl certain pieces. So I need a hair clip. <laughs> this is the only thing I could find. <laughs> this is the full set of hair. You get four one inch pieces which I like to call little individuals. I used to not wear these but I do wear these now. You get two four clip pieces, two three clip pieces, two two clip pieces. The trick to clipping in extensions with shorter hair is hiding your shorter pieces so that they're almost undetectable. I'm gonna start with the bottom part of my hair as always. So you're just gonna want to section off. I'm, I'm not somebody that like needs the line to be perfect or anything like that. And then just pin the rest out of the way. And I'm going to take a three-piecer like so. And I'll turn around so you guys can see, but it's pretty basic. We're just going to clip him in. Like that. Now this hair hasn't been brushed out or anything so that's why the curls are super tight but after I clip everything in then we will brush them out and make them look not so curly cute. Okay next piece we're going to section our hair right above that one we just clipped in and now I'm going to take another three clipper and I'm going to clip him as close to the front of my head as possible And then I'm not going to section any more hair. I'm just going to go ahead and take a four clip and do the same thing. Clip it as close as I can. And then I just clip it right on top of the other one. So that's my little trick, if you can't tell already, is we just want to clip the pieces as close to the front of our face as we can. So again we're just going to section a little bit above those last pieces. And now I'm going to take my longer four piece. I'm going to bring him all the way around to the front here. And then if you put your clip towards your head and then like twist it up a little bit you kind of create a little knot which will secure your extension in place and he ain't going nowhere just make sure all these pieces are laying straight and then I'm going to take a two clip we're going to clip him pretty close to 
to the front as well. And then we're gonna drop down the top and then I like to pull everything to the front and see where I need more. So I'm going to lift this up pretty close to the front of my head. And I'm gonna clip my two piece in right here. Drop you down over that. And then since I ran out of pieces, we're gonna do the same thing on this side with just two of the little individuals. I'm just going to brush this out so it's not so curly. I just like to look around at my hair and be like, all right, where could I use another one? So since these pieces are pretty short in the front, I would just like to go right in here and clip him pretty close to my head that out a little in here again just brush them out with my hand and give it a little swirl to create just a little knot and then he'll just stay in there a lot more securely and then if you see like any of your little neck pieces they like start to get caught in my collar and stuff but I just take them and blend them in to the longer hair. Just gotta disguise them in there. I'm just gonna go in really quick and just curl these front pieces. Also, I wanted to say, because I think I forgot to say, is how I curl them without them being in my head, is I just take the extension and put them in like a drawer or something and curl them that way. And I do alternate the curls, so I curl in and then I curl out and then I curl in and then I curl out so that the curls won't all mesh together and they'll stay separated, kind of like how these are. They're not kind of pulling into one gigantic curl. It is so hot with all this hair in. I just wanted to tell you guys that because I think I forgot. So it is still super easy to wear your clip-in extensions with shorter hair. All you have to do is bring your extensions a little further to the front so that you can disguise your shorter layers. So I hope it helped you guys out. I hope you enjoyed. I don't have anything else to say except I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching and until next time I will talk to you guys soon.